Next question is from Shea Goes West. What are some of your favorite healthy food swaps? For example, I use Greek yogurt as a replacement for sour cream. Oh, this is Adam. This is your wheelhouse because yeah, of competition. You know? Well, yeah, no, I think that I think that's a, a Greek yogurt can be used for uh, so many different things. Uh, Cocoa Whip um, is another really cool one that I use for like dessert cravings. Um, God, what are, it's been a while since I've actually thought in this direction of like different healthy foods. You know, you well, can add cinnamon yeah. to things uh, and add a little bit of stevia and cinnamon, and it just tastes like sugar. It tastes mm -hmm. like a like a sweet cinnamon. Yeah, when I was trying to lower my my alcohol consumption, it was definitely mineral water and lime and mint mm -hmm. and things like that to kind of dress it up, like garnish it at least, so it felt like you know I was still hanging out and partying. You know, because I can't have dairy, I forget uh, at all about all the great. Uh, dairy options and one food that it was a staple uh, for bodybuilders and competitors forever for for good reason it's cottage cheese cottage cheese is high in protein you can get low calorie versions of cottage cheese you can get higher calorie versions you can get full fat cottage cheese you could put that on almost everything or add fruit to it and it's inexpensive and it's a really really it's a really good source of protein and calories that you could dress up with fruit to to make it taste almost like a dessert. If this person's already on the Greek yogurt kick, I have something for you on Greek yogurt. You take Greek yogurt, you strain it over cheesecloth overnight in your refrigerator, dump out all the, the the extra stuff, then you whip like stevia or something in it, and then it turns it into like whipped cream, and then you dip like fruit into it, so it's a high protein whipped cream. Um, oh, that's another, interesting. Another really good one is uh, cauliflower. Cauliflower is phenomenal for replacing mm. like rices yeah. and pastas and crusts and Definitely breads. Pastas. I've yeah, you that. can make uh, ca cauliflower uh, crust. So anything that would require like some sort of a crust in it, uh, you could use it for that. It can anything that you would normally use rice or pasta, you can make cauliflower into like rice or pasta bits and it tastes very similar or potatoes if you would normally do mashed potatoes oh, or something yeah. like that use cauliflower instead yeah um so that's another go-to um that i used a lot to replace um have you guys ever ha uh used spaghetti squash instead of that, pasta? Yes. An, that's another great one i yeah, love it we just had we just had that the other night we use spaghetti squash all the time Courtney's been doing that a lot since we went to the tahoe house with you guys and, and you guys like cooked that that one night i think it was an option yeah you did yeah. spaghetti squash with really uh, good. with sauce, it's delicious. Or you can just do it with butter and a yeah. little bit of garlic. And then uh, Adam, I know in the past you've used um, like low fat ground turkey to make like lower calorie tacos. Oh or yeah, no, I mean I actually I, I use that so much that I prefer that over beef now, just because how greasy that beef can be. So I've gotten so used to making my taco salads, my tacos like with ground turkey. I also use. Uh, lean ground turkey to boost the protein intake into pro in, into breakfast. Breakfast is also a really hard hard one for people to get an extra you know 20, 30 grams of protein. Most breakfast foods are carb centric, and so you know taking eggs and then adding like two or three ounces of ground turkey. I mm -hmm. love it. We'll we'll make a huge you know Katrina will cook up you know, three, four plus pounds of, you know, lean ground turkey. And we use it like that in all kinds of different things. We'll use it in like a taco salad. We'll make tacos one mm -hmm. night. That's like a treat night for us. Or we'll use it, put it in our eggs. That'll boost the protein in it. So yeah, ground turkey is a, a definite go-to. Yeah, I've been me. doing wraps. And this is, again, this is more just like trying to go on the gluten-free side of things. Like I really do enjoy though, uh, like the lettuce wrap, like uh, burgers and, you know, and then wrapping like, um, like turkey wraps and things like that. Like it, you get to that crunch. So if you do like an iceberg lettuce or something like that, it definitely like gives you that still kind of a good feel when mm -hmm. you're eating a burger. What did are I, those? Did, I, are make, the, did I make the rice paper wonton thing for you guys? Have no. I, okay. So here's another cool one. I know I just, I wasn't ready for this question. Um, so we, we take a, uh, you know, what are those like uh, muffin or cupcake pans, you know, yeah, with yeah, a, like yeah. to where you would make muffins or cupcakes uh -huh. in or whatever. And you can get uh, uh, wonton rice paper, which is like nothing, right? It's like they're it's oh, little, I've had this, yeah. yeah and and then you and then you put them in those little uh, cupcake things, so they they fold up like a like a wonton, and then you put ground turkey, a tiny bit of your favorite cheese, tomato, salsa, or whatever. Throw it in the oven. The cheese kind of melts over, the, and then you have these little you know rice paper, ground turkey, and cheese and salsa little snacks. And it's like extremely low calorie. That sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't take. You know, I mean, literally, one ounce or less of cheese will do the entire cupcake uh, pan. So that's the like, cheese is probably the highest calorie, highest fat thing that you're putting on there. The lean ground turkey is extremely lean. 
tomato salsa that's virtually nothing. The rice paper is virtually nothing, and it gives you that crunch texture like you're having chips or something with it. So what's that? Snack. What are those tortillas that that are like grain free? They're made with like cassava, cassava flour. Yeah, yeah they're they're low calorie, um, and you can make all kinds of delicious things with that. You can make quesadillas. You can make you could make bur- you know, burritos that are that are low calorie mm-hmm. with those. And then uh, when I first met you, Adam, you told me about how to make like a, like how to make shredded chicken. You would get chicken breasts and you put them in like a crock pot and then you shred it and add uh, it with salsa. Yeah. So that was like a, that's low calories. Really yeah, good. that was a go to. So the go to meal. Uh, this was actually my staple uh, peak week meal where I would we would boil chicken, which you would think would be terrible. But I would boil it, either crock pot it or boil a, a bunch of it, and then we would we shred it up real real thin, and then I'd put it over white rice with uh, um, salsa and avocado. That's it, and it would taste like a burrito bowl. Really good. And with the green, and I use green salsa. I like I prefer that for this. So green salsa, avocado over shredded chicken in a rice bowl, and oh, it would it was like such a treat, and it's. Lower calorie, high in protein. Um, it was my favorite, like peak meal or peak week meal that I would have. Excellent. 